Hey, what's up, guys? So today I'm going to teach you OLL, two like OLL. So basically, what is OLL? OLL is orientated in the last layer. So if you start with white, you end up orientating yellow. So I always start with white, so I'm going to orientate yellow. So I'll just be back with the first case. I'm actually going to do the algorithm. Uh, yeah, I'll do this case. Yeah, it's called the fish case. Can you see? Yeah, I hope you can. But I'm not seeing the camera. Yeah, it's called the fish case. And in this fish case, the uh, yellow piece is on the right, but it can also be up here. So in this case, it's on the right. So you need to face it and then do the algorithm. R U R I U R U two R I and that solves this yellow. So the other one is basically the left one. There's another fish case, but this time it's on the left. So so now in this case when it's on the left, you need to uh, uh, keep the piece on your left the yellow piece on your left and do R U2 R prime U prime R U prime R prime that solves it not the full cube but it only solves the yellow layer so not the yellow layer like putting these in the correct position but it just solves this these stickers so the other case I'll go with another fish case it's called the double fish case. So it looks like this. Yeah, I hope you can see. Yeah, so you need to face it any side and then keep doing you until one of these empty pieces come, come over here. And then the piece has to be facing you as in I'm facing this. So when I keep doing you, yeah, this one's facing me. So I need to face this one and do F prime small r u r prime u prime small r i f r and that solves it. So the other one, yeah, it's called the chameleon case. I don't know why they call it the chameleon case, but people call it the chameleon case. So in this case, it has two layers solved, and you need to keep the two layers to your right. Well, there's a difference between this and the headlight case. In the headlight case, the two layers will be solved, but this this piece over here, which is facing you right now, will be on the other side. So you, so, so that's the way to identify the chameleon case from the normal, from the, yeah, headlight case. So you need to face these two layers and do smaller u r i u i smaller i. F R F I that solves yellow. So the other one, yeah. I'll go with the headlight case which I told you. Oh uh, yeah. See, I told you it looks the same. But when you keep it like this, the piece is not over here. Like the white yellow is not facing over here. It's facing this side. So you need to face these headlights over here. And perform the algorithm R2 D R I U2 R T I R I U2 R I that solves yellow. So the next case I I actually don't like this case because it's too easy. It's the cross case, that's what I call it. It's double headlight, yeah. So it has headlights over here and headlights behind. So you can face any of the headlights and then do the algorithm F R U R I U I F I three times. So F R U R I U I F I F R U R I U I F I and that solves yellow. So the next one, I like this case. Yeah, this one looks quite similar, but it's but it's different. The headlights are still there. But this time, the piece, like there are running two headlights opposite to each other, opposite. It's, it's headlights over here, and these are like switched like this. 
So basically if you F R U R A U F I three times over here, it won't get solved. You'll just get to the chameleon case and you don't want to do that. So you need to keep uh, this facing you, this piece, the right, the piece on the right. Uh, so there shouldn't be any piece, yellow piece over here as in, yeah, it is there. But the sticker shouldn't be on the this side. So you need to, so if it's like this, then it's over here. So you need to keep it until this piece, lone piece, like, which has nothing on either side like this. Uh, you need to keep that on your right and do R, U2, R2, UI, R2, UI, R2, U2, R2, R. Yeah, so that's it. That's it for OLL, to look OLL. So basically, I'll just show you what to do uh, when, uh, when, when, when you're in the cross stage, when you need to get to the cross. So in this case, you need to do, yeah, this one. You know, if you do now this one, it's going to be good because it has this, not block, I would say, forget about these. It has the L. So you need to keep it like this and do like this and do F, small f, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. And that solves the cross. Sorry, this got solved, but yeah, the cro only the cross is supposed to get solved. And the other one, yeah, wait a sec, yeah, this one. Yeah, it's uh, it's the horizontal line. This one is easy if you know the uh, normal method. It just, you can keep it horizontal and do F. R U R I U I F I. Again, this is not supposed to be solved, but yeah. Wait. Wait, how do I get to that lone block face? Huh? How do I get to that case? Okay, well, the lone block face is basically F R U R I U I. Uh, FI three times, so I'm not gonna just show you the case. But better watch for my next video, which is PLL. Well, I don't know this case. I'm not gonna go through this case. So I just do two algorithms to solve this case. So yeah, and I know this case. So PLL is basically permitting the last layer, putting all the orientating pieces in the correct position. So in this one, in this. PLL, this one has to go over here, and this one has to go over here. These should have to interchange, these should have to interchange. So I face the salt side and do, yeah, some algorithm. I'm going to tell you it's going to confuse you between 2 look OLL and PLL. So this PLL basically finishes the thing, whatever the cube. So I'll just show you something. I have my computer over here. Yeah, just a sec. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I hope you can see. It's called cubewiz.com. Bob Barton's Cubewiz. You should go to the website and then check it out. You get all the look OLL. See, that's orientating the last layer. And I'll just...